Oh, it is just unbelievable. Simple things you do for people could have such an impact on certain people. And just when you were telling that story, and the stories that have just been told, made me think back uh, on something. After 9-11, when I was commanding 55th Brigade, I had to take 2,000 soldiers over to Europe to do a force protection mission over there, which meant as the active component soldiers were getting ready to go to Afghanistan, I took 2,000 National Guardsmen over to Europe, and their job was to protect U.S. Army installations over there. So I had soldiers in Germany, Italy, Belgium, and the Netherlands. 2,000 spread all over the continent. And uh, I told the soldiers, I said, listen, like you're all adults. When you're off duty, there's no restriction to drinking alcohol. You know, of course, Germany is a really nice place if you like to have a beer now and then. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, two weeks after we're there, one of our soldiers, he was a sergeant, a sergeant, which is pretty high ranking in the list of ranks, goes out, gets drunk at a, a German civilian bowling alley, gets in a fight with a German, throws him over a balcony in the bowling alley, knocks his eye out. The German loses his eye. Big international incident, right? So we court martial this sergeant and sent him to the stockade in Mannheim, Germany, where he served six months of hard labor there. And he was reduced all the way down to E1, which is the absolute lowest rank in, in the Army. And I talked to his battalion commander because my other option was, do I discharge this guy from the Army now, just get rid of him? And the battalion commander said to me, you know, he's worth keeping. He made a mistake. He's paying his dues for it. He's worth keeping. And so I decided not to discharge him. So he's serving his punishment. And this happened in August. So anyway, in uh, Christmas Day, I wake up, and I was visiting my soldiers all over, the, you know, all these countries. I was always driving to see them, see how they're doing. And I woke up, and I saw my driver, and I said, we're going to drive up to Mannheim today, which was about an hour and a half north of where we, my headquarters was. So we're going to drive up to Mannheim. It's Christmas Day. I'm going to visit the soldier. And so I walk into the prison, see the prison guard. I tell him I want to visit this particular man. And he comes out, and he's just, like, completely blown away. Because here I am, you know, he's an E1. Here I am, a colonel, which to him was a very high rank. And uh, he just couldn't believe I came to visit him. And he was so thankful for that. And I thought nothing of it. I thought, he's still one of my soldiers. We're not going to discharge him. He's going to pay his dues, get out someday. And so fast forward to 2005, when I find out I'm going to be commanding this brigade in Ramadi, Iraq, and this particular brigade that I was going to command was already down at Camp Shelby, Mississippi, going through training because the original brigade commander uh, had a health issue. I was called upon to go down there and take command of this brigade and then take them over to Iraq. So my first day there, I'm just kind of walking around the barracks area, just trying to maybe talk to some soldiers, get a feel for what some of these soldiers were thinking. And as I'm walking by, there's this group of five soldiers standing outside of the barracks, and one of them yells to me. And I look, and he comes running over to me, and he goes, you probably don't remember me. And this guy was an E4 now. He goes, you probably don't remember me, and I'm, and he said his name. And he goes, you came to visit me on Christmas Day. And he goes, I never forgot that. And then he said to the other soldiers, he said, Colonel Gronsky is our commander now. We could trust him. We don't have to worry. It was just really, really <coughs> insightful to me how doing one small thing for somebody that didn't cost me anything really meant so much to him. So I do think placing others first and doing those small things for people really, really go a long 